it's a precondition for green growth in Denmark as well as in Europe that we can ensure cheap, clean and stable energy supply, not only tomorrow, but also in 5 and 10 and 20 years. And the only way we can do that is to rely more on our own natural sources of energy instead of depend so heavily on imports of fossil fuels that uh, differ in prices and where the prices they are going up. The development of renewable energy sources in Europe has so far been a success story. The introduction of mandatory targets has led to much progress compared to the situation under the old directives. We have a reasonable roadmap up out to 2020, both when it comes to infrastructure and when it comes to which technologies are we going to invest in. We have targets for renewable energy for 2020. 2020 is only eight years away, considering that uh, a power line can take 15 years to plan. 2020 is tomorrow. What the heads of states have said is we need to reduce our emissions by 80 to 95%. That means we can't emit carbon from the electricity sector in 2050. The Commission expects wind to meet up to 50% of the European electricity demand by 2050. Is this realistic? Yes, absolutely. But it can happen only if the right policy signals are being set now. The 2030 targets are important because in the, in a political context, we have to remember that after 2020, we'll have to develop our energy system even further. So for the moment, every country is looking at 2020, but the world doesn't end in 2020, and we have to continue developing our energy system. Therefore, new targets for 2030 is very important. Clear targets and stability for 2030 is important, uh, and also getting, you could say, on the move with the infrastructure part so that things go hand in hand, both the consumption and the production, but also the grid.